Hey guys, this is Caffeine Gaming, and I'm gonna be walking you through how to install some Oblivion mods that require the Oblivion script extender. Now, I've gone ahead and tested this because it takes a little bit to make sure it works, but I'm gonna show you what I did, what I'm using, and then I'm gonna actually show you guys how to install a mod after that and make sure that it works. And I'm gonna be doing this in a couple different steps, and we're gonna start at the beginning, which is just what mod utilities I'm using. So the first one I'm using is the Oblivion Mod Manager, and I'm using this in tandem with the Mod Organizer. Now the big thing here is the Mod Manager, sorry, where's the Mod Manager, is uh, how, you know, make sure everything's loaded. It actually controls the load order as well. We're not gonna worry about that too much right now, but it's important if you're using bigger mods and things that may overwrite each other. And everything that that has to do with that would be in the description to tell you where your mod needs to be in load order. And if it's, it basically doesn't say anything about like, hey, this needs to be at the top or this needs to be at the bottom, don't worry about it too much. But really big mods um, may require the load order to be very low on that one because otherwise they, it'll just overload your game. So we're not gonna worry about that too much right now, but, um, and if you're having a problem with a mod not loading, check your mod manager and make sure it's checked because if it's not checked, that means it's not actually loading. So as you can see here, this, um, all of these are mods and stuff and um, they're all checked. So they'll all be loading and that's important. Now the mod organizer is just a quick, easy way to make sure that mods are working. The mod organizer keeps your mods separate. So you're not just throwing stuff randomly into the file where your Oblivion stuff is. Now that's not gonna be the case for all of them because some of the mods actually require them to be inside certain folders, but a lot of these are gonna be separate. Now I've installed three mods here, the um, unofficial patches, and those are pretty easy to install. I'm not gonna talk about those today, but I would really suggest that you do that if you want that. And then I've got the OBSE test plugin also installed. It's just an ESP file and it's just shoved in there and it's really not all that important, but it's very useful for testing OBSE, which we're gonna be talking about in a second here. And in fact, let me go ahead and jump in and explain what OBSE is. So the Oblivion script extender, the OBSE here, is uh, it's just, basically Oblivion's engine is very limited. So the script extender just extends that so that you can actually do some additional stuff and it create, that's how many people use to create mods. And it's not permanent unless you're installing the mods and then those overwrite things. So um, it talks about how to install these and I would really suggest installing these manually. Just follow the directions. First, and there really should be a step zero here, turn off Steam first, close it and then install. And I'm gonna talk about why in a second here, but just make sure that you've done that. Now, the files look like this. It's just a zip file that I've already gone ahead and extracted. This is just in my downloads. I'm gonna be deleting this later. You're gonna be moving over the data file, the DLLs, and the OBSC loader. Don't really worry about any of the other files. These are all just documents and I don't really care, but you're gonna be just copying these. And then you're gonna to go to wherever you've got Oblivion installed. Now, in this case, I've got my Steam app here and you're going to go into steam apps this folder and then you're going to go into common and then you're going to find oblivion and in this oblivion folder i've already got all of the stuff in here and i've moved over the data files as well just because why not and the other data is actually in here and it's right there so uh, just when you copy them over just say yes and merge it all and it'll be absolutely fine don't worry. Now, before you actually load up Steam again to test that out, head into your Steam folder where you've got the Steam application. So this is a steam.exe if you don't know. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna right click and go to properties. You're gonna to go to compatibility and you're going to run this program as administrator. Now, the reason you're gonna do that is because Steam, for whatever reason, even if you've installed it on a separate disk, it may not let Steam do certain things. There's a issue with Windows being weird. So what you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and click that and make sure that's working. 
Now there's a good chance before we load up uh, Oblivion, there's still a chance that uh, this may not work. I'm gonna be linking to this, ne the Nexus forums, OBS isn't working with Steam. There is a good possibility that the OBS -E loader, that is this file right here, may not work with your version of Oblivion. If that is the case, there's actually a link in this uh, line of <laughs> thread, there we go, thread on this forum that actually has a uh, OBS -E loader.zip. And I know that sounds really sketchy, but it actually may solve your problem. Just download that, unzip it, and then replace this OBS -E loader in the Steam Oblivion. So go ahead and replace this one. Just go ahead and delete it and then put that one in here and it'll probably work. So we're gonna go ahead and just load up Oblivion. Go ahead and load this up. Go ahead and close this and load up whatever game you want. I don't have all the mods I need yet installed. Now, when you load this up, give it a second to, to load and you're gonna get this welcome to the OBSE test. This means that the OBSE script test this test script that you've installed is working. If you're not getting this and there's something wrong and you need to test or figure out what that is. Now give it a few seconds here. And once it does, it will actually pop up and <laughs> give it a second. Don't go into any menus while you're waiting. Just sit here and wait for a second. And if it worked, it'll pop up here with an OBSE has been correctly installed uh, little box here. This is what you wanna see. If it says it has failed, head back and redo everything. The biggest thing for me was making sure that Steam was loading as an administrator and that OBSE loader was uh, replaced by the older one. Not entirely sure which one it is, but all the OBSE loaders uh, previous ones are on Nexus as well, so you can just go through and find one that works as well. And with that being worked, and all that being working, we can actually move on and do some uh, additional modding. Okay, so now that we've got OBS E working appropriately, we're going to go ahead and install the Oblivion character overhaul. Now, real quick here. If you look at the Oblivion character overhaul version two, this is the one we're going to be installing. If you look at this one, you go to the Nexus mods page. Now we need actually need the description here. It'll tell you what you need for it to load. So if you, you can either look at the uh, description or you can actually look here and there's two things here. There's blockhead that we're going to need to install and the script extender, which we already have, and it's still working. And it kind of tells you here what other mods actually require this mod. So it's kind of nice, uh, you know, to have that. And there's some additional stuff in here. There's some patches and whatnot. I'm not gonna worry about that right this second. So blockhead here, as you can see, is a uh, plugin that supports different like stuff. <laughs> and really it doesn't matter what it does, but we're gonna need to install it. So I've gone ahead and already downloaded it. And as you can see here, I've downloaded a bunch of different mods and blockhead is one of them. I've gone ahead and made sure that the patches are all installed. So those are all right here. And real quick here, you'll notice there's one other patch that's been installed. It's OSR4. That is a stutter reducer for Oblivion. So basically because my computer is so much better than the game itself that we need a stutter reducer. Now for Blockhead here, it is a seven zip file so we should be able to install it with the mod organizer here and we'll talk about the oblivion mod manager in a minute so let's just go ahead and install this and it should install right away and if you right click here on any of the mods it'll actually tell you a little bit like how to reinstall and all sorts of things and you can reinstall the mod if you need to and it'll you know replace it and it that that's great um real quick here it is telling us that there's a DLC patch that is conflicting with the TLC. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. So with that, it should work. So let's go ahead and check it out and make sure that it seems to be working. And nothing is broken. 
I always suggest testing mods after you've installed them to make sure that the game is still loading as appropriately. And as you can see here, it's loading up just fine. It's gonna take a minute uh, to get through that. And let's go ahead and just jump into this autosave here. Nothing exciting, but we still wanted to do that. And it should be fine. We'll find out if it's fine or not. Uh, looks like everything's loading up well here. Still got a little bit of stutter. I don't see any issues with Damn. these guys' faces and my face is fine. So let's go ahead and just quit out of here. Now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and install the Oblivion character overhaul. You're gonna do that from the Oblivion mod manager. We're gonna go ahead and click create. You're gonna go in here. I'm gonna rename it. And then I'm gonna go down to add archive. And we're gonna go ahead and add the character archive or uh, Oblivion character overhaul zip file. Now this is gonna take a minute to add. So let me just go ahead and cut to whenever it's done adding. Okay, so as you can see here, it has been added to the relative path. This is what we're gonna be looking for. Once you've done this, you're gonna go ahead and click create OMOD down here. It's gonna say you haven't entered an author name, we don't really care, haven't entered a description, don't care about that either. And it's gonna go ahead and do a bunch of stuff. It's gonna take a little bit of time, as you can see. Uh, there it is, um, it might lower like it did. Once this is done, I'll go ahead and show you what has happened. Okay, so we're going ahead and done here. As you see here, you'll know it's installed properly when this is turns blue and it appears over here. So we're doing pretty well here. So let's go ahead and load up Elder Scrolls and let's see if it actually worked or not. Um, if it didn't, like I said, I will, ex I will install Blockhead manually. Blockhead seems to be the problem. And let's go ahead and load up auto save here. All right, let's just see if things worked properly. So if your block head did not install properly after you've installed the new mod, the character overhaul mod, the people will have a install block head um, overlay on them and they'll be blue. So you will know that's not working. So this looks like it worked just fine. I'm trying to find more people here. And here's another character. As you can see, her face is different. You have my and it looks like it has installed you have properly. The last thing I want to tell you before I get going and end this video uh, real quick here is if you're having trouble with the Oblivion Mod Manager, try... This is weird... Weirbash? Weirybash? I'm not sure. Um, this is a different one. It's got its own Nexus mod um, page, so go check that out. And essentially this one's pretty easy to use as well. When you install it, it will create an Oblivion Mods folder here, and it's got this bash installers. All you do is you, ins you drop your mods here, and inside this little thing here, it's a little page called installers. It'll scan and all you do is you choose whichever mod you want, right click, click install, and it will install it and it will pop up right here so that your mods will be very quick and easy to install. So I've installed a bunch of new ones. Um, this isn't all of the ones that I had installed originally before I was trying to figure out why Oblivion was crashing. Um, I don't even remember what I had. It still looks fine though. I double checked and made sure everything worked. And this is gonna tell me that it's got some content that's missing, but it's just graphical stuff, so I don't really care. And when I load this up real quick here, you're going to see that everything looks a lot better. I've got some new plants and stuff. I'm still working on getting a distance uh, mod. Unfortunately, they don't actually exist. The engine can only handle so much, so I'm going to see if I can find something. But that's the quick and easy way if you're trying to modify a little bit. And honestly, the game doesn't look all that bad with all the modifications. And I had these before, before I reinstalled, and it looked like this. So it's pretty darn close. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have tutorial requests for like other things, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do more tutorials in the future when it comes to mods and whatnot. Oblivion's really the hardest. Skyrim is a lot easier. I think Morrowind's even easier than this. So yeah, go ahead and do that if you 
you know, have anything to say. If you liked this little video, give me a like. If you, for whatever reason, didn't like it, uh, give me a dislike. If you have questions regarding how I did this, I'm gonna try and write out a quick little thing in the comments. Hopefully I'll get that up before you guys um, get in here and watch this video and we'll see what happens. Join me on Discord if you are interested, links in the description, and I hope to see you guys in a future video, be it tutorial or be it uh, one of my Let's Plays, and I will see you later.